This is my 45 defense Iron Man, and I am on a mission to complete all combat achievements while staying at only level 45 defense. So, we are going to take our new shadow for a little spin for some combat achievements. So, with the shadow we should be able to get the Zora speed time. And we're going to try and knock out perfect Zora as well. Alright. If he dies here, that should be perfect Zora done. Because I didn't take any damage from the snake lint. There we go. Just the speed times now. That's the elite speed time. Come on, kill it here. Oh, no. I think I needed to kill it there. Wait. Oh, that's... I swear that's the Grandmaster speed time. I swear it's 54 seconds. Oh, my God. It's less than 54. I missed it by one tick. Right, that should be it. That should be speed. There we go, 50 seconds. And that means Zora is completely green now, so no more combat achievements there. And now that we have the shadow, I'm going to do a couple of the Whisperer combat achievements. Going to do less than six seconds in the Shadow Realm and Archaeus Spellbook. Okay, so this one, just go in, look at the pattern, go back out, just walk along. And same thing for this one. Go in, look at the HP, go back out. <clears throat> Stand at the right pillars. There we go. And for this mechanic, I just don't go in at all and tank the hit. There we go. That should be two tasks done. Lovely stuff. Some nice free points. And now we're going to knock out as many of the Muspa ones we can do. I think we can do all of them apart from... Uh, oh, got a speed task there. I was going to say apart from the really quick speed tasks. So, yeah, let's get to it. What is that? Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. I would have put my fist through my monitor if I died there. Because that right there <laughs> is the 10 kill in one trip. And that would have been on the last phase of the 10th kill that I died at. Ah. So now I think we're going to try the Salamander one. And then just KC after that. This has been an insanely long kill. But that is the Salamander KC done. Yep. 8 minutes 43. Ooh, new PB and a collection lock. And that right there is the 50 KC done. So the only things we've got left here is the Master and Grandmaster speed times, which I'm going to wait until I've got a twisted bow for. And it's going to be a few seconds for you, but a couple of hours for me. And that is the regular gauntlet speed run done. Now we just need to get the corrupted. Come on, that's it. Yes, there we go. Oh, that's really nice though, because that is regular gauntlet and corrupted gauntlet completely done. And we are back doing some God Wars because the shadow is so good here. So we're just going to get a really quick one where we kill Commander Ziliano while his bodyguards are dead. And then we're going to do the same thing at Bandos and kill Bandos while he's frozen as well. Go, all the bodyguards are down, so let's finish off Ziliana. That should be it there. Lovely. Hopefully none of them respawn. And they didn't. It's a nice quick three points. And that's him frozen, and that's him down. So that should be a combat achievement there. 
There we go. And that's the last bodyguard down. Finish off General Grador. That is another combat achievement done. Is that Mr. Cold One? What is the drop rate? Oh, is it coming about you? I think so, because he's doing a Zerker Grandmaster series. Alright, that's an annoying one out the way. I've just set them to 150 to make these combat achievements as easy as possible. Let's better get moving done. And that is completing TOA without using any of the spirit supplies. Over 60% of you that watch these videos aren't subscribed, and we are so close to 2,500 subs. So if you are enjoying the content, just remember to drop a like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot. Thank you. So we are now going to go for a solo regular nightmare kill. And I'm going to try and get the one where you don't let the parasite heal it for more than 200 as well. Right. That's a very long kill done. But we should get the parasite combat achievement. Sadly we won't get... Oh. I can't believe we got a speed task with that. <laughs> so we've got the elite speed task, we got the one where we don't let the parasite heal for more than 200, and we get a combat achievement just for killing it solo as well. Sadly we didn't get perfect nightmare because I missed one hit right at the beginning of the fight. But I think it's time to do some Fasani's nightmare, see if we can get some upgrades. There we go, that's going to be 20 kill count. And a new PB, lovely. Good luck, me. That baited me. It said something in my ear and I thought I got something. Oh, oh we got a combat task at least. Good luck, me. Oh my no. god! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> no f way! <laughs> Oh, that's sick. Oh my god. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, mate, I'm buzzing. Who in chat was saying they wish I did get the helm so I could wear the Zerka forever? Oh, yeah, legs would have probably been the nicest one, but I am not going to complain with anything. A lot of these drops that I'm getting have been happening live on stream, so make sure you head over to Twitch and give me a follow if you want to see it live. Let me case he's that now. Yay! There we go. Got the teleport. Nice. Pop that in there. Lovely stuff. Here we go. First teleport. Slap. Nice. I think I'm on for perfect nightmare. Not too sure. Go for it just in case we are. That perfect. Hey, there we go. Perfect for Sunnies. Took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but. No, I went for that one first. Have I just been six hour logged? Oh, fuck. Right, last kill off the stream. Mithril or But it's been a very successful day in the Samuel Car collection log. We'll see got ourselves the Inquisitor's helm and we got ourselves the teleport. It's very nice to get. Right, so we are actually going to be sacrificing a load of random duplicates into our death's coffer. Because we're about to be doing something where you're going to die a lot of times. We are going to be sending the Fortis Colosseum. And at the time of recording this, I have literally just finished it on my main account after around 100 deaths. So I'm going to try and send some on the Zerk now. I've got another video on the Colosseum that's due to come out today. 
So if you want a bit more info, go check that one out. But the main thing we are here for is the new Dizana's Quiver, which is the best in slot range cape. And just for the PVM challenge as well. It'll be fun to see how long it takes us. Here we go. Attempt number one. So we've got a full mage set up, and then we've just got a few melee swaps for if we make it to the final boss. And I decided to take both as well, just so we can hit some things from long range. Because I can't use long range on the shadow, because it gives me defense XP. annoying. Should have just buried. Oh well. First attempt. I have no idea why I just did that. That was so free and I f***ed it. I misclicked through him for f***ing sake. That's attempt number six. We're gonna see the boss for the first time on this account. So let's see how this goes. Ah, there it is. Dizana's quiver. We've got so many supplies, so just need to concentrate.
Oh man. Sink man. It's so close. Well, it's now the next day. I've had a nice long sleep. I'm ready to send some more attempts. So, it's our first attempt of the day. We've managed to get back to the boss straight away. So, got a lot less supplies than last time. Well, I say supplies, I mean brews. So, just got to focus up and be as clean as we can.
Oh my god. Let's f go. Let's f go. Oh. Let's have a look how many attempts. Seven attempts. Lovely. Let's take a little look at our range gear now. I mean, I'm looking forward to them updating X at the moment. It is a bit small, but I'm just happy we got it done. If you made it all the way to the end, then a massive thank you for watching. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if it's your first time here. And I will be uploading the full run, just no editing, just the full run in case anyone is interested. I'll see you in the next one. A massive shout out to the Elite Channel members, Luke and Patriot. If you're interested in supporting the channel further, then click the join button down below.